All right, we're talking to Gloria Rivera, uh, Executive Director of Great Lakes Bioneers here in Detroit. Uh, Gloria, what's new with Bioneers in Detroit? Well, what's almost new, almost ready to be publicized is that we're planning for our conference in October, October 14 to 16 at Mary Grove College. So we're just finalizing the local programming. We have some very exciting tours coming up. We have the youth program again on uh, Friday, uh, Young Bioneers program, and we also have, um, we'll have music and a lot of learn shops from local presenters this year, as well as the national speakers via satellite mm -hmm. from California. So for folks who aren't familiar with Bioneers, it's a national organization based in New Mexico with an annual conference that happens in San Rafael. Um, how many years, first of all, has Bioneers uh, been operating here in Detroit area? This is our eighth year, It'll be our seventh conference, and we are but we're one of the beaming sites from the national conference. And Bioneers is an amazing organization because of encompassing so much and so many different approaches to change. How would you describe, for someone who is not familiar with Bioneers, how would you describe what Bioneers does and what you're doing here in Detroit? What Bioneers is, is an opportunity for people who are interested in a variety of aspects of environmental or social justice to come together and share their own skills, their own passion, their own dreams and visions, and find within the context of the conference a community of like-minded people that complement the, the interest or the work that they do that would support them. It's a hopeful conference because we're dealing with some very serious issues that our planet is, we are facing as a planet, and some practical solutions. And the grounding of, of these solutions is based on nature. You know, it's, it's the national tagline is the revolution from the heart of nature. So nature has a great deal to offer to us to solve the problems that, for the most part, we have created as humans. And how does the Detroit Bioneers differ from all the other satellite Bioneers and from the national? One of the significant difference is not from all other pioneers but from a good number of them is that we are an urban called an urban conference as um, we're also very much um, grounded in the work that is going on in Detroit right now because we pioneers works year round in Detroit so we're bringing together it's, it's a time to bring together some of the work that we have been participating in during the year as well as celebrating that work and making it more um, a parent or a share it with people that come to the conference. We are focused on Detroit in particular and all its issues of you know revitalizing the city and rising from all of the problems that we have here anywhere from you know that are true nationally but with so many jobs that have been lost in Detroit that's a real significant uh, aspect of revitalizing the city, finding a different way than just uh, the motor, the automotive industry. Mm -hmm. And what kinds of topics in the programming coming up this fall uh, do you think will be, uh, you'll have local speakers, the, the, the format is local speakers and plenary speakers. Right. So maybe describe the, how the technology works with the plenaries and then uh, a sense, if you don't know yet, if you're not ready to release names of people speaking, uh, what kind of topics do you think the local speakers this year will be addressing? Um, in general, the, the, the way that they, we get the plenary speakers from, from the conference in San Rafael is through a Dish Network satellite. And because our timing is a little bit um, different, we, we pre-record the first couple of plenary speakers and then we show them in the afternoon. So the, our afternoons are filled by our plenary speakers. In the morning on uh, Friday we have tours. I think this year we're going to have six or seven tours. This program is finalizing so I'm not holding it back. I mm -hmm. will be happy to release it. I think we'll be ready next week. Uh, tours to places like Warm Training Center which is a um, organization that helps people with weatherization of homes and businesses. We are going and creates to, green jobs. Uh, creates green jobs, right? Mm -hmm. We also have a tour on um, a 
Green Garage, which is uh, here in uh, Midtown Detroit, and a new building, the Garfield Building, which is being totally renovated with solar and great water system and so forth. We're having, again, a very popular tour this year, which we've had in the past, is um, the um, Greening of Detroit, and all the different urban gardens and community gardens. Mm -hmm. And the afternoon, we'll have uh, workshops for young people. We hope to have 160 youth from seventh through high school, seventh grade through high school, participating in the conference. And the workshops are really earmarked for them. Uh, engaging them so there are some hands-on workshops. We're going to have other presenters. I think we might have about 27 presenters coming up and local issues anywhere from practical things like rain gardens, rain barrels, to uh, permaculture, to a lot of other issues which we should get soon from our local programming company. Sound, sounds great. Thank you very much for the, uh, um, the uh, preview. Uh, ahead of time. Again, the dates of the conference are when? October 14th to the 16th at Maybrook College. And there and are... our website will have all the information. What is the website? It's uh, glbd.org. www.glbd.org. Great Lakes org. Pioneers Detroit. Detroit. .org, yes. And there are scholarships available uh, for folks uh, uh, who uh, need some help with the, uh, the admission. Right. Yes, this is conference. a conference open to everybody, so we don't want to have people not come because they don't have money. Just contact us and we'll help you out. Beautiful. Thank you, Gloria. Thank you.